Kathy's been cooking for the last five years. Like we both, like I said to you before, we met in the bush camp. And she's been cooking for the last five years. And I've been really into coffee for about the last three or four. So she'll be doing like all the cooking stuff and I'll be doing the front of house, like all the serving, uh, the barista. Yeah, we'll be serving like specialty coffees. And what, what's the name of the cafe? Uh, the shop's called The Record Shop. The Record Shop. Yeah. Uh, yeah and where, where, when's the grand opening for that? Uh, the grand opening will probably be sometime in August or September. We're mm -hmm. going to do like a soft launch probably sometime in June. We haven't chosen a location yet. We haven't been able to find a leasehold yet. So that's kind of the... I guess that'll be the hardest part. Yeah, trying to find the right location. Yeah, to find the right spot. Yeah, it's yeah. Location, location, location. Oh, I'm sure you'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Food, food is amazing. Yeah. What what dishes did, did you bring on tonight? Uh, tonight, Kathy made a wild mushroom uh, potato gratin and mm. then I brought a um, um, crisp like apple and pear crisp so it's uh, an apples valley apples honey crisp apples mm -hmm. and anjou pears and then with a paired with a whiskey sauce mm. yeah I try them they're absolutely yeah. delicious <laughs> yeah. well, I'll tell really some seconds well. it's not necessarily <laughs> stuff that we're gonna have on the menu but it's just you know things we thought would go kind of well mm. for, for the so a comfort nice comfort foods yeah. but also yeah. bringing locally seasonal exactly. yeah. at its best and yeah and, I mean I don't know, it's, our idea for the cafe is basically local, fresh, you know, seasonal food. And it's the way that we eat commonly. Like, we have a really big farmer's market. I don't know if you guys have visited yet. Yeah, we have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much, we do our groceries there every weekend, you know. Like, there's people here, like Ratno, the, the gentleman that brought the uh, the duck and the rabbit roulette. He's there every week, you know. There's lots of, like, local businesses and just, you know, people that bake out of their homes or rent arts and crafts or, you know, have different products. It's cool. Just so passionate about it their yeah. food and what where they source it from yeah just mm. different medias different formats different you know people that uh, I don't know produce clothing all the way down to you know herbs and spices whatever you want to find you can, you can generally find it yeah So how, how did you hear about Seed? Um, we heard about Seed while we basically had started looking around online to see if there was any kind of help that we could get to open our business, like if there was any kind of workshops or funding or anything that would be available to us. And uh, this non-for-profit organization, Seed, which is paired up with Employment Nova Scotia, they basically they offer workshops or programs. You need to apply the program, um, offer a business concept proposal, so it could be anything. Like we're opening a restaurant, but you know, there's other people that have gone through the course or going through the course currently with us that are doing all sorts of different things like everything from designers there's people that are doing like sales and marketing there's a guy that wants to open up like a custom lumber yard or like a wood mill so it's not it's not quite specific for one type of business but it's kind of broad spectrum so the program basically gives you it lays things out for you in a much simpler way and it makes it simple to to get funding like they offer a loan they're also tied up with a couple different organizations that do uh, character loans so you're not dealing with banks directly you're getting loans from different departments that are they'll base it on your idea more so than what your assets are mm -hmm. yeah it's they're kind of easier to ascertain it, it's promoting small business in the in the province which is great i think like the more yeah. small business we can have locally the better yeah, it's brilliant, rather than having the big big chains coming yeah. in. Yeah, and I mean, we do have some of that. We do have some of the larger chains. But these, what, what Seed does is basically, the reason why they're paired up with Employment Nova Scotia is part of the stipulation is you have to have been on employment insurance in the last three years. So for any period of time. So what they're trying to do is trying to get people back into the workforce or people that, you know, are have been laid off or, you know what I mean? Lots of people... I don't know, like I said, there's lots of different ideas, so yeah, mm. it, it's a great program, like honestly, all the provinces that we've kind of looked into, like we started looking up for Montreal, so we looked into that, and there doesn't seem to be this type of program offered in too many other provinces, so it's brilliant. Great, thank you very much. <laughs>